All right, we're on explain one of, uh, let's see, what chapter are we on? Or what lesson are we on? We're on lesson, I think, 14.1, was it? Let me see. Give me a second here. <clears throat> lesson 4.1, sorry, 4.1. Explain one section here of geometry A credit 3. And we're going to use vertical angles to solve, um, or to, to our knowledge of vertical angles to solve and find missing angles. And so we're going to involve some algebra, so hopefully your algebra is razor sharp, uh, but hopefully, uh, if it isn't, uh, that's what I'm here for, and I can offer you some examples and explanations on how to do this. So um, I will let you read that explain one section on your own, but basically what you should remember from the last video is that when you have two vertical angles across from each other, they are equal. And so um, what that means is in this case, in the case of question number one, that angle is equal to the other one. So let's set up the proper equation to find the value of x. Uh, we're going to do 4 x plus six, 4 times x plus 6 equals 5x plus 11. And where I got those numbers were from right here. These are the two angles. They are equal to each other. And your algebra uh, should tell you that uh, when you have a 4 outside the parentheses like that, you're going to distribute that to the terms inside, and you end up with 4x plus 24 equals 5x plus 11. And typically, I, when, when solving equations, I like to move the smaller uh, term with the variable because uh, I don't like dealing with negative uh, negative values. I, I try to avoid them as much as possible. And in this case, when we do that, we'll end up with 5x minus 4, which is just positive x, positive 1x. And again, we don't write that 11 or that 1 because it's just redundant. But uh, we end up with 24 equals x plus 11. We subtract 11 from both sides. And I'm running out of room, so I'm going to move it up here. And I end up with, uh, what is this, 13 equals x. And that is my answer. Okay. Question number two. Uh, don't get this confused. These are brand new um, values. It is. It has nothing to do with um, with that thing up on top, that, uh, that drawing up on top. So uh, we have two vertical angles. One is 58 degrees. The other is 3x plus 4 degrees. Uh, what do we know about vertical angles? Well, they're equal. So 58 equals 3x plus 4. So let's go ahead and solve this. Uh, there's variables only on one side, and there's no, no like terms to combine. So I'm going to subtract 4 from both sides. I end up with 54 equals 3x divided by 3, which is the coefficient in front of that variable. And you should end up with 18 equals x, right? So the value of x equals 18, okay? One more question, angle 3, or sorry, question number 3. Uh, the measure of two vertical angles are given by these expressions. And again, we know that um, vertical angles are equal. But there's two parts to this question, right? We find that we, we need to find the value of x, but we also need to find the measure of each angle. And, and the nice thing is, since vertical angles are congruent, you only have to find one uh, because the other one is going to be the exact same value. So let's set up this expression again, or this equation again. And so we should get x plus 3. Oh, wow, I don't know what, what's going on with that 3. x plus 3 equals 2x minus 7. Again, I like to move a smaller variable. Uh, 3 equals x minus 7. Add 7 to both sides. To isolate the variable, we get 10 equals x. Okay, so there's one part of my question. The next part, I have to find the measure of each angle. Well, I'm going to use the easier one, right? That looks pretty easy. Since I know x equals 10, 10 plus 3, it's going to be 13 degrees for both. Um, for both angles, since they're vertical and they're congruent. Okay, explain two. We're going to do the same thing we did with the vertical angles, except we're going to use our knowledge of supplementary and complementary angles. And just in case you forgot, complementary angles equal 90 degrees. Supplementary angles equal 180. You can read that example if you want. As far as I'm concerned, I'm going to jump into these questions. So here I have two angles. I have angle 68 and angle B, and I can tell by this symbol here, that little square, that is a geometry sign to tell you that uh, this is a right angle, which equals 90 degrees, and since these are complementary, I'm going to write the equation 68 plus B equals 90. I don't really like the variable B because it looks like 6 too many times, and I've seen so many students make that mistake, but since we're doing this, we won't make that mistake. B equals 22 degrees. Okay, easy peasy. Um, question number two. Um, let's see. So, question number two, we're gonna we're gonna have to do a, a, a 
bunch of different things, right? Um, we have to find X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to actually color code this just so we keep everything straight. But basically, to find, we're going to start with X. And to find X, we know that 40 degrees, 40 degrees X and 25 degrees are all on this line here. And since it's a line, these are all, these are basically not linear. I, can't, I guess you can't call them linear pairs, but they're going to equal 180 degrees. So what you should, the, the equation you should set up is 40 plus X plus 25 equals 180. We're going to combine the like terms here. 40 plus 25 is going to give you 65 plus X equals 180. We'll subtract 65 from both sides. And you should end up with X equals, what is this, five, 115 degrees, right? So 115 degrees is what X equals. Now that we know what X equals, let me change color here. We can find out what, uh, what Z equals, right? Going from here to here. Since X is 115, this is 25, and Z is what we're trying to find. Let's set up another equation here. Let me move up my screen here. 115 plus 25 plus Z is going to also equal 180 degrees. So let's combine these like terms. I end up with 140 plus Z equals 180. I'm going to subtract 140 from both sides. And you end up with Z equals 40 degrees okay and now if z is 40 right um, let's change color again uh, z plus y is another linear pair so since we know z equals 40 40 plus y is also going to equal 180 subtract 40 from both sides you end up with y equals 140 okay so um you know, three separate equations, but hopefully if we uh, do them one by one, these should have been pretty easy to understand. And so um, that was question two. Question three, find the measure of AEC and BED. AEC is right here. BED is right here. And so look at this. They are vertical angles. They are congruent. So if you find one, you found the other. So let's go ahead and solve for X, right? Here I, I can see uh, supplementary angles here, 90 plus 60 plus X are going to equal 180. So that's my equation, 90 plus 60 plus X equals 180. Let's combine the like terms, 150 plus X equals 180. Subtract 150 from both sides. We end up with X equals 30. Um, and that's it, right? If X equals 30, so what we can say is uh, angle AEC and angle BED are equal to 30 degrees. Okay.